And welcome to the radio lessons. This is volume 3 of the self instructional material. My name is Sede and I am from Chojina Primary School, Thimpu. I have lesson number 1 for class 3 English. The learning area is phonemic awareness, and the topic for today is syllable. By the end of this lesson, I hope that you'll be able to say the syllables of the word correctly, identify syllables in the words, learn the syllables to pronounce the words correctly for successful acquisition. Acquisition means learning. For successful learning of reading, spelling and writing. Are you ready? Here we go. So in today's lesson, you will learn syllables. So, do you know what is syllable? A syllable is a unit of pronunciation. So, pronunciation means sound. Okay? A syllable is a unit of pronunciation forming the whole or part of a word. We must learn syllable because it helps us to pronounce the words correctly. Some words will have one syllable, while others will have more than one syllable. So let's go to activity 1 to see which words have only one syllable and which words have more. The instruction for activity 1 says, let us read some examples of words having one, two and three syllables. So here we have a table. The table has three columns. In the first column, you have the picture picture of the word. In the second column you have the division of syllables, so how the word has been divided into syllables. And in the final column you have the number of syllables in the word. So what's the first picture? It's a puppy. It's a dog. So in the word dog, how many sounds can you hear? Or how many syllables can you hear? Dog. That's right, there's only one syllable. So that's why you see the number one there. Let's turn to the next page. What picture do we have here? It's a fish. In the word fish, how many syllables can you hear? Fish. That's right, only one. So therefore you have one in the third column. Look at the next picture. It's a girl and she's getting ready to eat her meal. So in the word eat, how many syllables can you hear? Eat. That's right, only one. Looking at the next picture, what do we have? It's a clock. And what does the clock do? What does the clock tell us? It tells us the time. So in the word time, how many syllables are there? Time. Yes, only one. In the last picture of this page, we have a group of children. In the word children, how many syllables can you hear? And you can raise your fingers up or hold up your fingers as you say the word. Chill. Hold up one finger. Dren. Hold up the other finger. So how many fingers have you got up? Two. Children. So how many syllables does this word have? Children. That's right. It has two syllables. Okay. Turn over to the next page. And what do we have here? It's a table. In the word table, how many syllables do you have? 
You can raise your fingers up or you can clap as you say the word, right? Table. So how many syllables was that? Table. That's right. Two. In the word table, you have two syllables. Let's look at the next picture. It's a cute baby. What is it? It's a baby. In the word baby, how many syllables are there? Baby. That's right. Two. Two syllables in baby. The next picture is a butterfly. In the word butterfly, how many syllables do you hear? Butterfly. Do you see? In the second column, the word has been uh, cut up or divided for you. Butterfly. So how many syllables was that? It was three. So the word butterfly has three syllables. The last picture on this page is a fruit. It's a banana. In the word banana, how many syllables do you hear? Banana. See, the word has been broken up for you. Banana. So how many syllables was that? That's right, three. Three syllables in banana. The last picture of this activity on the next page is a computer set, right? Do you see the screen, the monitor? Then do you see the keyboards where you can type your words? And then the next box that looks like a box is the CPU, right? The central processing unit. And then you have the mouse so that you can move your cursor. Okay, so this is a computer. In the word computer, how many syllables do you hear? The word has been broken up for you. Computer. One more time. Computer. So how many syllables was that? That's right, three. So that's why you have the number three in the last column. Okay, let's move to activity two. Now, you have already looked at words and broken the words up into syllables and you have even managed to find out how many syllables are there in a word. So in activity two, the instruction says, read and write the number of syllables for each word. And this time there are no pictures, so I'm going to read out the words for you. Are you ready? The first one is done for you. So look at the table. This table has three columns. The first one is the word. The second column, you have to break the word into syllables. And in the final column, you're going to write how many syllables are there. Ready to rock? Ready to roll, right? Okay, so number one, the word is doctor. And the word has been broken up for you, doctor. Do you see the hyphen? It's breaking up the word doc. Ter. So how many syllables are there in doctor? That's right, there are two. So number one was an example for you. Let's go to word number two. Mother. What's the word? Mother. So now you have to break it up. Ma-ther. Ready? Ma-ther. So in the word mother, how many syllables can you hear? Mother. That's right, two. Let's move to number three. The word is big. What's the word? Big. So how many syllables are there in big? Yes, there's only one syllable. Number four, the word is tomorrow. What's the word? Tomorrow. So break it up. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. So, how many syllables was that? That's right, it's three. The next word is elephant. What's the word? Elephant. So, let's break the word elephant. Elephant. So, in the word elephant, how many syllables are there? Yes, that's right, there are three syllables in the word elephant. And the last word, winter. You know, as in the season, winter, when it's very cold. Winter. So break the word, winter.
water. So how many syllables is that? Yes, that's two syllables in the word winter. Okay, on the final page of this lesson, we have self-check for learning. So let's see whether you remember what you have learned today. The instruction reads, read the words given in the box below. How many syllables do they have? Write each word in the correct box. So in the first box, we have the words. What are the words? Dog. The first word is dog. Then we have banana. Then we have teacher. Tomorrow. Picnic. Bedroom. Hill. Cucumber. And boy. So how many words was that? Nine, right? We've got dog, banana, teacher, tomorrow, picnic, bedroom, hill, cucumber, and boy. So that's a total of nine words. Now, you have to put these words from this box into the table below. So in the table below, there are three columns. The first column says words with one syllable. So out of these nine words, which are the words which have only one syllable? So you have to list that under this column. In the next column, we have words with two syllables. So words from the box above, the words with two syllables, you have to list in this column. And in the final column are words with three syllables. Are you ready to do that? Okay, so let's go back to the box of words. The first word is dog. When you say the word dog, do you have one, two or three syllables? Yes, you have only one syllable. So you're going to put dog under the first column that says words with one syllable. The next word is banana. What's the word? Banana. Okay, how many syllables in banana? Three. The next word is teacher. What's the word? Teacher. How many syllables? Two. Teacher. The next word is tomorrow. Tomorrow. How many syllables? That's right, three syllables. The next word is picnic. What is it? Picnic. So how many syllables in picnic? Two. The next word is bedroom. What is it? Bedroom. So in this word, how many syllables? Bedroom. That's right, only two. The next word is hill. What's the word? Hill. How many syllables in hill? Only one. The eighth word is cucumber. Cucumber. How many syllables? Cucumber. Yes, three syllables. And the last word, boy. Boy. Only one syllable. So I hope you can put these words in their correct boxes. You can do that, right? Yes, you can. Okay, so if you, once you've done that, you can look at the answer below and see if you've got it correctly. Thank you very much for listening to this radio lesson. I hope you will all stay safe and be good. Tutulu, metam, maybe no boo, she